Hey, what's going on, guys? So, I know I uploaded about XSense last night. I've been uploading a lot of motion capture stuff lately for Unreal Engine 4, really just preparing for meta humans in a couple of months, hopefully. But I've been getting a lot of comments like AI motion and so on and so forth, similar to what Isam here, Bugani, said. 20 hours ago he said future is ai motion capture anyway so that's what we're going to be talking about today and i talked to a uh, fellow youtuber edwards i asked him like because he's been looking into this a lot more than i have and he knows a couple of them and he's been trying some of them so he gave me three and i picked one and what we're going to be taking a look at is deep motion animation 3d okay so what this is is if you can't afford a motion capture suit you can try doing this it pretty much it takes it takes a video of you doing whatever motion and it's gonna use AI technology to create an animation for that that you can download BVH and so on and so forth like I said yesterday um, it looks like XSense is going into cloud well this is also in the cloud everything is going to the cloud uh, pretty much eventually so you got images in the cloud now they're going to store motions in the cloud, so probably how Skynet got started. But that being said, let's take a look at this. I signed up for the free version of this, and let's take a look at the pricing, okay? So I have the freemium, which is free, absolutely. 60 animation seconds, which is pretty awesome. That's You can do a lot with that. You can do a one TikTok dance for that a month, so that's good. I think TikTokers are going to go crazy for this if they mainstream this somehow, and you're going to see why I'm saying that. It's going to let you export to FBX, BVH, GLB, and MP4, which FBX is good because you can import that in Unreal Engine 4, and there's your motion capture, right? Uh, maximum HD 720p input, so you can only import 720p, and obviously, as you go down, you can start importing more resolution. Higher quality, the better, because it is using AI technology to get the motion out of your image, so... That just goes without saying, right? And then store up to three custom characters, which, you know, I'm not really worried about that. Okay, max 30 frames per second input. Now, 60 frames per second is going to be better because it's going to give the engine a lot more to work with. But right now, I have the freemium, so I exported at 24 frames per second. No storage limits. Private animations. Again, that's... I don't know how that works. So let's go to the website itself. It's really freaking easy. So we're going to create a new animation and we're going to choose the default for now. Um, and then I already have a file that I got from film raw stock footage place. So I'm going to double click that and it has to be max size is 50 megabytes for the frame uh, of freemium plan 100 MB and so on and so forth. We're going to do FBX output. And we're not going to do any frame reducer. Physics, we're going to turn this on. It's going to attempt to remove self-penetration. You definitely don't want to be self-penetrating when you're doing animations because what that means is stuffers, just pretty much random parts of your body, you're going to go through your face or your body and stuff like that. So you can you can mess around with that, but you want that, yes. You know, try it, yes, first and then see what happens. Uh, we're going to take a look at video output, which I'm not going to output a video for this. 3D model, uh, there's nothing in there, so that's okay. And all you have to do is click create animations. But for best results, they have some tips here. Camera should be stationary and parallel to your subject. Uh, the entire body from head to toe should be visible, 6 to 20 feet away. Neutral lighting with high contrast. Occlusion, nothing should be blocking the subject. Clothing, do not wear loose clothing, capes, or anything like that. So, it has some stuff here for you guys for tips. Let's create. Okay, so that took around two minutes to capture 20 seconds worth of uh, video. Press OK. And now you're going to see my video in the back and the motion in front. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. I mean, that's some crazy dances that he's doing there. And for the most part, it did a pretty decent job at capturing it. So, to me, if you're just standing and talking, and you need that kind of motion, I think you're going to be okay with doing this here. 
Now, obviously, I try to make it as extreme as possible with him doing some some really, really complex movements. I mean, look, just look at that spin. Did you see that? You know how hard that is to do? So I wasn't really nice, but, you know, I wanted to kind of test the limits a little bit. And what's cool is you can change the sizes of your mannequin here. And you can see that there is a little bit of shakiness in there. You can see the head motion, and it didn't really turn that much as far as the head goes. So there's limitations for sure. But this is pretty young. This technology is fairly young. So there's still definitely a lot more to improve on. But if you are wanting to get into motion capture stuff, start streaming stuff, and you don't have money for a motion capture suit or a Vive Pro, or you're just doing TikTok videos that so you want to mess around with this, then this is an option. There's multiple ones that does this AI animation type of deal. But for this one, for me, this was just the easiest one to do. So if you want, you can go around it just to check the motions of your actual uh, motion capture data, which is pretty cool. And if I make this bigger, you can kind of see it better. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I'm not going to be exporting this one because it is a little bit janky. You can see that there's a little neck shake there. And then the head's a little bit movie. It's not moving as much as I want to. But it's just kind of an extreme scenario here. But if you have something just standing and talking, like I said, you should be fine. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it.